the autumn thought of you. <laughs> I don't know what that means. People should laugh at that. Yes, I know. Clap. Everyone clap. Oh, yes, you get it. Clap. Stop clapping. Yes. Oh, good. Clap. Oh, I like you. Why did you? This is so fucked up. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's quite fun. No, I. Anyway, goodbye. Later. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hey. What? So, like, I wish Twongi was here. Me too. Oh. Oh God! Don't say that. He I pushes don't know in me and mud. Calls me names. If you say his name three times, maybe he'll show up. Twongi, Twongi, okay. Twongi. You hate me. You hate me. <laughs> yeah. Yay! I don't. I I don't hate you, Sir Goldie. Swear but Twongi. I'm not but a knight Twiggy. should be in the throne room. Ah, Twiggy, swear, whoa. Oh. Oh. Why would you do this to me? There's Why are we sit standing? Oh. oh. Did someone, did someone just... Did we just get Pavlov? Pavlov! We just got Pavlov! I am upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh, that, 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 really, really, oh. that really just happened. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy. Oh, come here. Twiggy, come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm Please remain standing for the blessing. The Exarch Eliza Malahide, please. We do not always see storms on the horizon. They sometimes arrive without warning. Despite this, we must rise to meet these waves of trouble as they come or else sink. We must let life take us on this new course because we might find that storms unexpected and dreaded might take us to better shores. And we might find that all along there was nothing to fear. So blessed as hawk pigeons, may he always be able to count to eight as long as he stays out of my house. Blessed be acts still being worked on in the opinions of the people. Blessed be those with political ambition whose dreams of success might very well be imminent if they take the chance presented. Blessed be the blessed be bones and how many Lady Elms Domnall broke today. Blessed be murder moss. 
Bless the Department of Magnifying Vocations, the DMV. Bless me, Nader, for they serve. Bless be garlic and onions, for it is holy combination. And bless be being pavlogged by the Stone Bay National Anthem. In the deep's name we pray. Amen. 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 Please be seated, everybody. I will dispense with the Privy Council update for today. We're in between governments. Um, but I did want to make a statement before we begin. We have a very packed schedule ahead of us. Uh, we have lots of reforms that I will be taking questions for discussion uh, and, and such and so forth. And, of course, Lazuli has something as well. Oh, there you are. Uh, so many of you may have uh, seen our advertisement uh, for residential and commercial leasing, most especially on Wall Street. Um, I will tell you that myself and the Chamberlain have been absolutely swamped by the interest, and uh, we are having trouble keeping track of everybody who has sent letters, everybody who wants something. Uh, there, are, there is a significant amount of leases being signed, which is actually why I'm, I wrote one of the bills uh, that we'll talk about I've later. So many letters. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, uh, if it seems that we haven't replied to you or... Uh, what not. We definitely want uh, to give people the opportunity to set up their businesses on Wall Street. Um, now I think that's just, uh, that's just to the, on the west side there um, of, uh, of, the, uh, of the city. A brand new street we're putting up. And of course, we're also making expansions on Stone Street this week. Uh, so there's lots of opportunities for businesses, uh, but hopefully I'll have some help with that soon uh, once we get through today's agenda. Okay, great. Uh, so, yeah, just if you haven't heard back from us about the leasing opportunity that you've written in for, um, stick around at the end today. Stick around at the end today, and we'll just, we'll just nail it all out. We'll get it sorted today. Good. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, any further statements and announcements? Stand to be recognized. Mary Justice. Thank you. I am pleased to announce that um, Elias and Safiri Domnall have both been uh, approved to work the DMV, the Department of Miscellaneous Variables. They are both trained and certified to be able to run all miscellaneous variables within the DMV. And I look forward to seeing how, uh, how they help our good nation and indeed all lands of Kara. Here, here for that, everybody. Here, 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 here. 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 Uh -huh. DMV is a part of the cultural fabric of the Bay. Um, I'm very glad to hear that it's going well, and I've spoken with my friends who run the DMV, and I've told them that after today, um, we will be opening up more opportunities. The DMV's scope will be widening and will be more of a broad registry, but those of you who read the bill probably already know that. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, standing recognized, statements and announcements. Once, twice, and thrice. Thank you very much, and we'll move right along, right along indeed, to, with no old business on the agenda, we will go straight to the new business. Uh, Lazuli Dodges, please, for number 47. CB47, thank you. Here, here for lads, everyone. Here, 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 Hi, um, I'll stand in the middle real quick. Um, this bill basically, um, is to ensure that, um, those who, those who, after they, um, die, if they wish to have the remains underneath the Prismarine Citadel, it's not just anybody's bones going down there, and we know that they, um, they're meant to be down there. Um, so let's say Joe's walking down the street. Joe's just not going to get put underneath the Prismarine Citadel. And it will help us keep track, um, especially for loved ones, if they want to come visit or some something of the sort. Um, thank you. Questions, comments, concerns, and statements regarding CB47 standing recognized. Yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Axbrew. Well, thank you, uh... 
your majesty. So my biggest question would be, how, how do we determine who uh, is and is not allowed to be buried underneath the Prismarine Citadel? Is, is this merely a uh, bookkeeping measure, or, or is there more to be done in order to make sure that... Um, is, is there going to be certain requirements that need to be met to be buried there? Uh, that is all, and thank you. Labs for response? Um, well, within the bill, it does say that um, you need to go through the DMV um, and fill out a form. So it will... Um, I will be doing a lot um, more talking with the DMV in the weeks to come. I was just um, absent on a trip to Adenosa, um, but the form uh, would ask questions similar to... Um, uh, what have you achieved? What do you? Why do you believe that you should um, get the chance to be um, kept within the Prismarine uh, crypt? Uh, that sort of thing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And Mary, have we figured out what the uh, what the acronym for this one is? I was about to um, motion to add that in under the DMV where it mentions the DMV actually. Well, have at. All right. Um, I would like to motion to amend um, this act to change uh, the DMV to uh, the Department of Monitoring Vessels. Do I have a second? Seconded. Here. Seconded. 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 Yeah. Seconded by the Exarch there. All those in favor, aye. 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 Contra opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Thank you. Amendment made. Further questions? For the last, then I recognize the Lunar Queen. Yeah, I just had a question regarding who would be doing the upkeep of all of the bones, and can it be Mr. Thomas? Last. Mm. I'll be doing all of the uh, upkeep of bones. Um, Mr. Thomas has uh, his room down there, um, but I am a grade A certified um, bone keeper. Uh, nobody's as good as I am. Real. There you go. Based. So Sapphire. Um, I, but I do like this bill a lot. Um, I just had a question about Section V, except, exceptions. Um, it says that uh, exceptions are granted due to any form, due to forms of duty to the, and dedication to the throne. So I was wondering if we could add um, anyone who serves as a, a great officer, which I believe to the list, this, was, with this would only add the current treasurer. And how about we just dispense with that, and I'll just offer the current treasurer that if they'd like. Okay. Exception made. Now, when the current treasurer dies, a horrible, <laughs> violent, painful death, um, depending on what their will says, they can be buried down below if you want. How's that, Halcyon? Thanks. I feel so loud. You're welcome. <laughs> we can be neighbors. Santa be recognized! <laughs> Mr. Niles Grantham. Uh, yes, just reading over the part that goes over um, appeals, right, if you have to appeal to it. Um, I do assume, as it's not stated, but I do assume that this means that even if you do appeal, there's still the chance to be, you know, rejected. I just want to make sure of that. Is it The way it's phrased makes it seem as if you do all of those actions that you could just get in. Yeah, you're still subject for denial. Um even if you feel. All right. Stay recognized. Yes, Baroness Stomhall, please. Thank you, Majesty. Um, I was wondering if um any Kingsguard that die in the line for the like in in protection of the throne could also be up for this exception. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could just throw whoever I want down there once they're dead. What are they gonna do? Argue about it? You know. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, jokes aside, jokes aside, I think uh, duty like that, the, the implication is obviously the sovereign, whoever it is at the time, um, can make that determination. And of course, King's Guardsmen uh, would be uh, very high up on that list. So that's a consideration as well. Thank you. Thank you recognized? Yes, you there. Yes. Out of curiosity, if one were to go to the DMV, what would want to ask for and i've read i've read the act it doesn't exactly state what exactly one would be asking for like to fill out said forms um you would 
ask for the Department of Monitoring Vessels, and you would uh, ask to fill out a um, Prismarine uh, crypt form. There we go. All right. I think if that's all I have to ask. Say, are you nice further? I have a question. I was just about to call on you. Well, go yes. on then. Please. What are you going to do with the bones once they're down there? Um, well, I'm going to take care of them and make sure that they have, like, a proper uh, space to be. Um, bring flowers down to them. Uh, talk to them. Not in a weird way. Um, just take care of them. Thank you. I'll follow up. Yay! I think you should talk to them in a weird way. One that makes people question as to whether or not you still maintain your sanity. Thank you. Noted. Stand to be recognized. Very well, with nothing else. Uh, all those in favor of passing CB-47, aye. 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 Contrary and opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Unanimous. Congratulations, lads. Here, here, everyone. Here, here. Yeah. All right. Here, here. I love bow. Here. For this next section, I'm going to take this crown off and put it right there. There you go. That feels a bit better. And I'll come down here to the floor. I don't get to do this very much. Gilbert. Breaking the mold, Gilbert. You better note this down in the record. <laughs> All right. Questions on my reforms. I'm going to say I'm going to say a few words first before we get started, my friends, but the idea behind these reforms generally uh, and or specifically, depending on how you read into this, it is, number one, an acknowledgement of a reality that we are for facing today. Uh, there is nothing in here, in these reforms, that is not outside of the realms of the capabilities of our government currently. I have also worked with several partners on these reforms and been met with some very positive response. Uh, I know that the Under Queen is here, and I certainly hope that uh, Duchess Calliope is here as well, uh, but I've been in consultation with them about these sorts of things, uh, and I've been very, there you go, I've been very ominous, especially when visiting the Duchess about it, um, you know, uh, especially when somebody else there is listening. It will, it will take place soon. Things will be occurring. Uh, there is, there is not Thing for them to worry about. That's yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with that, uh, I will take questions either general or specific on these reforms. Stand to be recognized, even if you're next to me. I'll, I'll take a look around. Periphery, periphery. Stand recognized! These aren't up for, um, these aren't up today for the, um, for vote. I'll be voting on them and making changes based on the feedback and questions I get today uh, for the Parliament scheduled on the 21st. Sir Niles Grantham. Uh, yes, not a question, but a statement. Mm -hmm. What we're seeing here today, looking through everything that you have provided, I've heard it all very closely. I'm very excited, actually. You are putting a lot of things that I think need to be put forth, and we here in this crowd today are witnessing history. We're witnessing a change within the lands of Kara. One that I think and hope is for the better. And with the change, you know, the proposed change you have for the Treaty of Oman, within all of these uh, things, the Crown Office Act, the Elections Act, the uh, Towns Act, all of these, I believe, will push Car even greater into what it has been so far. And so I very much appreciate everything you've put forth here today. And I hope everyone else that, you know, is realizing this, uh, is reading this, is realizing the same thing that I'm realizing, that we're going to have an interesting and bright future ahead of us. Thank you. Thank you, Grantham. 
Standing recognized for the Chamberlain. Um, the, the the Crown Office Act at the very bottom of it, um, section mm-hmm. thirteen, subsection B. Um, mm-hmm. can I ask what exactly that means? At the oh, bottom, section thirteen. Section thirteen, subsection B. Mm-hmm. Shall cooperate with parliamentary committees. Uh, the yeah, the idea is that at one point we may have parliamentary committees. My first thoughts for parliamentary committees, of course, it's up to the members. They might want a ways and means committee. A new government like the ones proposed in these reforms is going to be very expensive, especially when it tries to uh, service all of Cara, uh, a feat that hasn't been really tried before. Uh, not properly, not like this, not with as many moving parts. So, Ways and Means Committee might be good to try and find more revenue. A Judiciary Committee might be good to look at the um, uh, possible judicial reforms and new judges. And of course, if the if any of these committees in the course of their duty and their work wanted the help of the Crown Office to clarify a matter to which the Crown Office is privy to, then I'm sure the Crown Office would be more than happy to do so. Okay. Cool. Hmm? They're organized! Mr. Axbrew! Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, my, my my primary concern when looking through uh, your bills here, I think there is a lot of fantastic um, just verbiage here, but, but the thing that primarily concerns me when looking at the Parties Act, uh, how do we propose to make sure that we don't end up uh, with one or two parties that indeed rule all of CARA through a lack of competition um, and other areas. I could see there's nothing really in place right now as the bill is written, at least that I've seen, that would um, you know, give us a kind of safeguard against one party or one or two parties holding a majority of the uh, mm-hmm. voting power or voting block. I think... I think for, I think if people in CARA are as half as interested in these sorts of matters as you, we won't end up in that position. And if we end up in that position, then I will intervene directly. I am not interested in one party running everything, regardless of what that party thinks. Um, That is simply not how I think this is going to work. Two parties, maybe for one term, you know, and then if that keeps on, well, I'm going to have to be like, well, guys, this is kind of interesting, uh, but it's actually not interesting. It's very cringe, in fact. It's very cringe and uncouth. And then we are going to have to deal with it. Um, but that's the good part about me being able to make those changes is as we go through this journey together, we're going to be constantly making improvements and looking into what is the best way to do it, um, what are some changes we can make to safeguard against things like that, um, and I'll put some thought into it, because I, when I was writing it, I, uh, that was a consideration, and several people who I consulted with for this asked me, well, what if all the parties are just the bloody same, and they're populist? And I'm like, well, then that's a bloody problem too, isn't it? Um, if they just say what people want to hear, which is why one of the requirements, I believe, what we're going to have, um, once we get to the a registration process, and it's alluded to on the on bill. But once we get there, which will probably open up probably starting tomorrow, is excuse me, um, you're going to have to send in your platform. You're going to have to post it publicly. People need to know what you stand for. There needs to be a level of transparency with these parties. They can't say one thing to something out el- someone else and one thing to somebody. Uh, that's not acceptable. That's dishonest, and I'm I won't have it. And so I feel like things, especially with the parties, need to be um, very transparent. And so them posting their platforms, what they believe, what they want to get done um, for people to see and for people to read um, is going to be uh, not just encouraged. It will end up becoming a requirement. Uh, And of course, we will have, yeah, we will have copies during the registration process of their sort of, not manifesto is the wrong word but their platforms and what they believe, why they believe it, uh, something uh, in one way or another. And if, the, if what they send us differs from what they say, uh, then my office will call it out very simply. I don't have time for corrupt politicians, and I certainly don't have the patience. Standing recognized. 
Oh, is that is that you, Felix? Apologies, what? Is it, was that you stood up there? F Felix here? Yes? I'm sorry, yes. my ears it's are yours, a little that's broken. That's yours stood up, that's fine, go on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, uh, Adonis had a question here, so I apologize in advance. But uh, if if he does join a party, would he be able to retry taxing Kara and Parliament? Because I feel as if, <laughs> regardless of whether I and and this is an interesting issue that I want to bring up. Um, obviously, I'll leave it to the to the politicians when they get there. Um, but this government uh, currently, the constabulary uh, serves all of Kara. Uh, along with several, like the DMV as well. Uh, these institutions cost money to run, especially the constabulary. Um, there is not nearly enough fines collected. There aren't nearly as many mobility violations um, to, to pay for the cost of having a fully staffed constabulary and Crown Prosecutor's office. So that is simply the fact of the matter. And right now... As we sit here and talk about it, the people of the Bay, those who live in the city and pay rents, and those who live outside of the city and pay uh, their other taxes, um, are fronting the bill for all of CARA um, for these services. Now, there is a case to be made, um, I suppose, if this was flipped, wherein we were taxing people without representing them. Taxation without representation, in my opinion, rather unjust. But representation without taxation, well, that's unjust to the people who do pay. And so I believe that if Adonis is truly dedicated to this and wants to become elected and wants to run for office on that platform, Adonis may find success. Not only that, but Adonis may find many, many friends and colleagues not so much within his own spheres and social circles, but the ones here in this city and in the Bay. And I think that's entirely the point I'm trying to illustrate, and that's what I'm trying to achieve with this reform. We, we can't just silo ourselves into where we live. It's more about the ideas we have and how we think that should be sort of how we are represented politically. Because... Action leaders can be corrupt. People who send people to parliament can send their friends. They can ignore the people who live uh, with them. But somebody getting elected directly by their neighbors, that's, that's something else. And I feel as though Adonis, I know Adonis is very passionate about taxation. And I hope that Adonis <laughs> carries that passion and enthusiasm forward uh, towards elections day. And I wish him the best of luck. Mm. Further questions, standing right guys. Him. Sapphire Harvest, please. I just had a small question about the Towns Act. I might have missed it, but mm -hmm. is there a qualification for what makes a place a town? Yeah, do people live there? Well, I mean, like if three people live in a place, could that be a town? Or Maybe. Do you need like five I, I suppose <laughs> when you look at it, and, and this will be done case by case and, and evaluation for it. So the main reason that the Home Minister and I actually wrote this bill together, and um, I will say the Home Minister did a lot more of the legwork than I did on this one. Um, but the idea generally is that here in the Bay, we have Stewart's Cross in the field. And Stewart's Cross in the field do not have any set governing structures. They don't have a way to create, you know, bylaws and stuff. They don't have any a legal authority beyond whatever they come here and ask for. So giving them the ability to take that initiative on their own, to elect their own leaders, to sort of uh, uh, take it uh, by themselves, I think is, is the important part of this bill. Uh, when it comes to qualifying what is and isn't a town, I suppose the government of the day would assess that. And also I should say very strongly that although I, I, wishes, I, I, you know, I, I wish that this would eventually become a mandate, this is not something that we're planning on deploying and forcing upon people all over Kara overnight. The idea is that this is going to help challenge existing hierarchies, which may indeed be unjust. Yes, uh... mm -hmm. 
and give people a voice, not just for their member of parliament, but for the person who writes their building codes, for the person who writes their um, by local bylaws. They should have a say. There should be, very, there should be transparency with that, uh, because I have seen in the past what happens when there is not, and that often leads to violence. Violence. Don't know if anybody around here is who was back then, back there, uh, still alive, but before Camaria was Camaria, before it was Moon County even, it was a place called Hecate. And the mayor of Hecate was a jerk. He was a bad guy. He was also a man in the most worst Ugh. of terms. Ew! You men. So, oh, so the people living there in what would one day become Camaria, one of them actually would end up becoming, um, I mean, both two of them who confronted this fellow ended up becoming the, um, uh, later the, uh, the, the lunar king and queen, they told him, like, okay, get out of the way. We are, we are, we're coming, like, this is what we want. We live here, just as much as you do. And he told them to shove it. So I'm pretty sure Phoenix Azar gutted him. You're here. And yeah. that was the end of him. But that could have gone without violence. That could have gone without violence. And this is exactly what the Towns Act is trying to achieve. Instead of there being some sort of a coup to take over a local township, there should be a process and there should be an off-the-shelf solution for people who want to take control of where they live for the betterment of all the people who live there. That's what this is about, entirely. It also standardizes, to some extent, local governance, making it uh, far more democratic and also far more understandable especially to new people coming in. We don't have to say, okay, well, you have to go talk to this person or this person. This is what this title means, and this is what, okay, so you have to go talk to this person who deals with this. No. Go talk to the mayor of that place. You want to live there? Go talk to the mayor. You want to live there? Go talk to the mayor. And that makes it simple. And eventually we might have a small council of mayors that get together, uh, maybe like a professional development group, to discuss local bylaws and building codes and what works. And I can assure you that's the part I'm looking forward to the most is the professional <laughs> development conferences. Thank you very much for the question. Standing recognized. The under queen, please. Yes. Uh, could I just have perhaps a couple of examples where the, uh, the crown land act may uh, come into play? Yeah. So the crown land act overall, like an overview of it quickly. Hmm is right now, there is land just out there. And nobody is really out there watching it. And what tends to happen, at least here in Orlan, and this has become a big problem, one that I think myself and Umber have both been trying to deal with, is people will just show up and settle somewhere. But the problem is, that land is owned by this person or this person, or it's owned by this or that. Mm. The idea with the Crown Land Act is to bring back some form of what we had more than 12 years ago now. We are hoping to release public maps of the uh, 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 sort of where, where somebody's claim on land begins and ends. So a property line map. And as well, uh, the land that isn't sort of owned by anyone, we need to take stronger steps to steward that land. Because although the stewardship provisions within the treaty currently are very strong and give tools to local leaders to, to, to steward their land and sort of take care of it, preserve it, um, there is no mandate to do so. Uh, this creates officers, an office of officers whose sole job it is, is to patrol their area or at least keep tabs on it whether that be Orlan, Falana, or Seralia. And I, I'm pretty sure by the end of it, there'll be three different ones, three different commissioners, whose job it will be is to manage the crown land, so land that is not owned by any entity, public use land. Uh, we're going to help, we're going to later define the rights that people have to use that land. We're going to later develop a way for people to purchase land. Uh, we are going to hopefully be able to 
preserve what land in Kara remains untouched. This is also helps with the building tall over wide, uh, but uh, that's secondary. Uh, so for example, um, there are um, little settlements, that, not settlements, but there are little uh, people set up homesteads across Orlan. Well, these homesteads across Orlan, although sometimes very, very quaint, very nice, I, 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 like, I like most of them when I see them. They are out there in the middle of nowhere with no infrastructure, uh, often on somebody else's land. Um, and I cannot really put them into an electoral district in this new system. It's very difficult. They're very far away from everything else. It's very hard to group them in and make sure that they are represented well. Uh, so our, our goal with the land commissioners, land commissioners, uh, these, these fellows uh, can go around, can help educate people, uh, can help, uh, help them move their things or move where they're living to basically join society, for lack of a better word. Uh, and also when it comes to, um, and this is another case, totally different, wherein there is a small group of people that have laid claim to a very vast land. Well, that's not very fair to the people who come after. That is not considerate to them at all. That's not considerate to the wider political climate. That's not considerate to the people who were there before you. That's not considerate to the people who will come after you. Take what land you need. the election and somebody on their ballot would rank, let's say there are four parties and you rank the parties one, two, three, and four. And the parties that come in first and second place, neither of them have more than 50% of the vote. Okay. Well, the party that came in fourth place, their votes, they, they have lost the election. They can't win. The party that came in last place can't win the election. So they're, anyone who voted first choice for the party that is now eliminated their second choice votes would be moved up to first choice votes until one of the parties has a majority of the votes. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yes. And will those that were in that cut party, will they then be able to vote as well? Well, if or... they voted for themselves, let's say, let's say you're in the party that was cut. You voted for yourself, but on mm -hmm. the ballot, you also ranked three other parties. Two, three, and four. So your vote, your vote for yourself, would go down to your second vote. Your second choice would be the one that would move up into the consideration. All right. Thank you for clarifying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stand recognized. The treasurer. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, could you give a brief overview of the uh, Crown Office Act and the difference between the Crown Office Act and the Prime Ministry and what powers both of them would have? Mm -hmm. So the Prime Minister, the idea with the Prime Minister is the Prime Minister is the member of Parliament with the confidence of the House. Uh, the Crown Office is made up of people who are not members of Parliament for the most part. They are the permanent bureaucrats who run the boring parts of the government. Much like you. You run a very boring part of the government, Halcyon. And you do it very well. 
but that expertise needs to be preserved. If I have a particularly stupid prime minister who comes through and says, I want my friend Stinky Boy McPoopface to be the new treasurer, and that position is currently where it is in the Privy Council, you're fired. You know, the person who goes, the new prime minister goes up to you, you're fired, Halcyon, and my friend Stinky Man McPoopyface is going to be the new treasurer, and they totally fuck everything up. Well, we're in a big, we're in big trouble, Halcyon. We're in big trouble. <laughs> See, so the idea is that these jobs that are highly specialized and require fiduciary trust, trust implicit, trust that they're going to act in the best interest of the nation, regardless of the police, these are the jobs that I want sort of insulated in the crown office, still a part of the government, but running their own part of it, as they have done for a very long time. Yourself was a you were at the top of my mind when I wrote that part. So the Crown Office is the office of people who work directly for me to help support the government, the people with the political objectives, and the people who represent uh, the electorate. So the Prime Minister may appoint a Minister of Finance, but that is a partisan individual, or a Chancellor of the Exchequer, you know, for, for a different different side of the pond on that one for you, right? But the idea with it is that they can have a partisan uh, MP, you know, having their books and, and making sort of with the agenda of spending money, your job is to fil facilitate transactions. Your job is to maintain the treasury to facilitate transactions. Your job, you don't get to decide where the money's spent, Halcyon, do you? No, not particularly. Right. Well, then it doesn't really need to end up in Parliament. Your job is to run the transaction part of the Treasury. It's a job you do very well. It's a job I do not want somebody named Stinky Man McPoopy Face to end up doing. Um, so, yes. I hope that makes sense. The Chancery of Arms is another thing. The Chancery of Arms is a highly specialized position. Being Chancellor of Arms is highly specialized. Uh, that is a job where there is absolutely no reason for it to be partisan. Um, I feel as though that would be very problematic if it ever became partisan, as it is involved in the formation of the honors lists. And we might, that opens the door to some significant political corruption. So keeping uh, some of these offices um, separate from the government of the day, but still in support of that government and its objectives, will help us maintain a, a corruption-free government, one that continues to work regardless of who is the prime minister. So I hope that makes sense. The Crown Office Act, that's basically what it does. It's basically what it is. Yes. Stand recognized. Further questions? Ms. Mr. Grantham? Uh, yes. Uh, much, much earlier in uh, all these questions, you mentioned that um, you might be opening the party registration quite soon. Mm -hmm. We have um, tomorrow. the EPA, I get tomorrow. Interested parties can begin applying tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, but interested parties should begin releasing their platforms and garnering support today. Of course. You, it is not illegal to have a political group now, but you just aren't on the ballot until you register. Uh, nobody can vote for you. You're not a party for consideration until uh, you, you get all of that paperwork done. Yes. Understood. Mm -hmm. Then recognized. Yes, yes. Yes, well, I must say, the idea, may I walk around? I'm going to walk around. The idea yeah. of political parties sorting out their own business and their own problems and working together and causing strife and, oh my goodness, that is probably the most 
stay thing I have heard in my entire time here, and it is delightful in every sense of the word. Though I am very, very curious, if I may ask, uh, your majesty, if I may, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, will there be any sort of bloodshed or sport over this? Maybe. Oh, I love this! <coughs> Stand to be recognized. Great. Well, that is not as many questions as I thought we were going to have. There's nine bills on here, guys. Really? Oh, Mr. Axbrew again. Sure. So just to clarify, because obviously the different um, Stone Bay, uh, um, Stendhal, uh, Kendra, all, all our, our various uh, places of residence have, have their own uh, needs and wants that need to be met by our political system. Uh, but these parties obviously having the potential for being cross um across those various nations, how, how do we propose to make sure that the, the base needs of each of the different uh, realms, kingdoms, etc., uh, continue to be met? Is that going to be something where we're looking to those political parties to bring those forward as well? Uh, or is there going to be some other measure that's put in place to make sure that the base needs of the uh, various kingdoms, realms, etc., are uh, met? Mm -hmm. I think I think it's 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 two. There's two there for it. Number one, um, the local leaders will still have a lot of local control um, when it comes to the things that properly matter for the people who live there, you know, how they live, where they live, who they live with. There's going to be uh, quite a few things that local leaders still have a significant amount of control over, and they'll be able to assert that control by laying bylaws and, um, and, and hosting town halls and such. Uh, but secondarily, uh, the political parties uh, I feel as if the political parties, that is going to simply be inevitable. They need to help people, uh, you know, if they're going to get elected and if they want people's support, um, making plans and making promises that address people's wants and needs. That's politics. Follow up? Uh, no, I think that's it for the moment. I, I, I may have more later. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. Um, uh, we're going to have a five-minute recess, and then we're going to come back, think of some questions if you have them. Uh, if there are no questions after the recess, uh, then I'm going to move on to the rest of the business I have in regards to announcing some elections, uh, getting some nominations, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this up for today. Five-minute recess, discussion permitted. How delightful! Oh, yes. I love oh, yes, it. indeed. This is riveting in every sense of the word. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Go goodbye. Bye. <laughs> You're leaving, are you not? I was going to say goodbye. Oh no! Oh, no, goodness. I'm just slow racing. Oh, right. not leaving. Oh, race tracking. Yes, yeah. I've heard of such the mystical oh, technique. They have. They just kind of walk or run. I hate it here. A little bit of a skip. Oh, a skip. Hang in hand. You're going X Games, aren't you? <laughs> what, what's an X Games? <laughs> oh, it's a fey thing. You oh wouldn't understand. Oh, my boy. You go on X Games. Anyone need a restock on some uh, gummies? Me. Oh yeah, uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, you can line up, line up right up here. Okay. Please, there's right, not there enough. There you go. Please. Thank oh, you. Okay. Pardon me, please. Oh, uh, here you go, okay. Governor. Oh, thank you. Thank yep. you. Appreciate you. Oh, uh, there uh, you go. There you go. There you go. Fucking love gummies. There you go, buddy. Thank, thank you. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Uh, here's some for you. Oh, here's some for you, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah no problem. Please, I'm trying to here you. The corner. Here you go, Under Queen. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I here you go. There, frog man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, there oh, you go. Oh, do I hear gummies? Oh, yeah, I'll give it up more. Oh, come on. 
Huh? How many how, gummies do you have, how many, Hazel? How many milligrams? Don't worry about what we have oh, on us. Gummies. It's a solid 20. Hi. Hi. 20. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh my god. Here you go. Oh, no. Don't worry. You don't worry. Is that what's in your pocket? Can I have some of it as well? <laughs> Here you go. You like, you, I, I assume you, yeah. you like the outfit? <laughs> yes. I love them. Slay. I got Haley, you hate me. I didn't get a gummy. Oh, no. Here you go. Here's a whole baggie for you. Oh, you're my hero. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Would you like Hello. a gummy? I got... <laughs> sure, I'll take another. Another one. Thank you. <laughs> another one. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy! Ah, oh, like a horse! Mm hmm. Oh, Very shiny. Do you ever get that axe in your day. hand and you graze like a uh, horse in the wild? Or, or, a, like, a, like a chicken. Why are we waiting like for chicken. Chicken. Huh? I'm just being respectful of other people's conversation. No nonsense. Goodness. Goodness oh, gracious. Oh, oh welcome back! <laughs> Hello. My kindness friend, you are very, very shiny today. Even more shiny oh. than the last time I said you're shiny. Please, you flatter me. <laughs> I'm blinded. This is a shiny car piece. Oh, no, are you? Blinded? Who? I think so. Oh, goodness. I hope you get well soon. I think hey, I hey, hey. Tummy's on an empty That's stomach. The, just the, look at the like, glowing piece of sun in the middle of this for a second. Middle of oh, what? Goodness. Of, of, of the middle of daybreak. Look, look in the middle. That's cool. That is cool. That's cool. Can I see it again? Yeah. Hey, you got a bit of a, a imaginary a little bit. Oh, hello. Yeah, oh. look, in, look into the flames. Look in. Yeah, look into... Oh, wow. God. Oh, oh. goodness. Well, that's not gold. I'm it's not, no, I was directing that to them. Uriel, it's been 30 years, oh, Uriel. This is a, this is a, this is a fun um, game. He says it's only been like 10. <laughs> 30 years. Gold. Gold. Uh, he's disagreeing with you rapidly. You can be trusted. You can't be trusted, of course. Is, which one of us is a demon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, are you? Me? No. No, I am not a demon. I am just a guy. I... What? Demons can just be guys if they're also hats, in my opinion. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes demons are your friends, right? They, they are. And sometimes... As most sometimes. You have such lovely gold. Oh, thank you, darling. I worked very hard for it. Very you know, nice, very well kept. No, who Thank else is my you. friend? No, who else is my friend Calipe? Who? My wife. You love your wife? You miss your I wife? Love, I, love I love my wife. wife. I love my wife. I miss your wife. Oh, hi. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm taking the oh, for my dad. Husband. You miss Paul? You miss my oh, mom? Are. I miss your mother. Yeah, me too. Your mother and I were very good friends. What, what was your oh. name? Uh, <laughs> Aidlin. Uh, yeah. Aidlin, Dominal, Flash, Sunstrike. Yes! Flash. Yes! Adderall and I were very good friends. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 reminds me of my collegiate days. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. The fun we would have. <laughs> the... Miscellaneous fun adventures that I just simply could not tell you about. Mm. All right, let's, uh, let's let's get back to it. My wife had a roll. All right then. All right. Uh, further questions, anybody on my a nine stack here of reforms and 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 agenda items? Somebody in the yes, yes, Calliope. I think all of this is very based. There you go. Questions? questions and or otherwise standard recognized are you in the back there are you stood or are you sort of hunched over no no climbing in the throne room please standard recognized anyone else no just all the reforms ever great excellent news that will pass, man.
unanimously. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a couple of uh, key pieces of business to do. I wanted to announce that the election in Stewart's Cross... And in the field, I am moving up the timeline from what I've discussed with my peers. Um, we are going to try and get those done within the next week. The sooner the people of Nephil and Seward's Cross can choose their own leader, the sooner that person can get to work for them. So that might come in as soon as tomorrow. We might start the processes in at least one of those jurisdictions starting tomorrow. But there is one jurisdiction where the election starts today. And that is this one right here. City of Stone Bay and the Greater Bay Area, including all of the different estates, Norbrook, Wild Ridge, etc. So, the position of Lord Mayor, uh, I will give some background. Uh, that was my title before I became the uh, king. So it's a title that holds a significant amount of importance uh, to me. Uh, and of course, now uh, I will be uh, delegating a significant portion of my current job to this person. Uh, and uh, it comes with several perks. If Zhivago was here, he'd be able to tell you. of the Greater Bay Area. Stand to be recognized for nominations for the second Lord Mayor of the City of Stone Bay. Stand to be recognized. Yes, the Litter Queen. Yeah, um, I would like to nominate the Princess Consort. Hazel. Yes. I, I accept. You, you accept the nomination. Goodness. I do. Click on that one. Anyone else? The election won't actually start till Monday, but uh, people can send in their uh, their nominations uh, to me via letter until then. Yes, Axbro? I'd like to nominate uh, Lady Malahide. That's Lady great, Malahide. you can't. That's totally fair. Yeah, I mean, you don't live here. <laughs> We're all sitting here, but that's fair. Yeah, well, it's just one of those things where uh, when it comes to the nominations, and especially for who can run, uh, those who live here who are going to be directly affected by whoever gets elected are the ones, it just seems just to me, are the ones who should be able to participate in that process. Oh, uh, totally fair. Just wanted to see at least a second mm -hmm. candidate. Yeah, so would I. Mary Justice. I would like to nominate Lady Alan Stomnall. Now, do you accept the nomination? Um. Um. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very well. Anyone else? Yes, Eliza? Just attempting to make this interesting, I nominate uh, Sapphire Harvest. Sapphire Harvest, do you accept? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I was kind of yeah. scared of running against an umber, but I want to. I think yes. All right. Now the candidate should know how much fucking work this is. Oh shit! I said something like that. I fucking swore. Shit! Shit! I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm quite all right. Thank you. Bless you. Yeah, Felix. Uh, my legs are not working, Your Majesty. Oh, that's all right. Very well. Chamberlain? Um, I'd like to nominate uh, Governor Niles Grantham. Grantham, um, do you accept? Uh, yes, I'll accept then. Let's make this interesting. We'll make this interesting. Great. Ooh, yes, Nadir in the back. Um, I'm not sure if this works, but I'd like to nom nominate Dame Bridget Maldor. Inspector, are you here? She's well, Do you accept uh, the nomination? I suppose I do. All right. I suppose. I suppose. There you are. All right. Very well. Anyone else? Okay. See? 
There you go, Axe Brew. We made it interesting. Thank you for starting that. That's uh, that's all I could ask for. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, yeah. If if that is all, one last one last call. Once, twice, thrice. No. Yeah. Good. 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 Thank you very much. And uh, I'm sure uh, Gilbert took down the names, didn't you, Gilbert? Excellent. And if those people, um, I need to see you after this as well. So you can head up to the office afterwards as well. Uh, finally, uh, on to the closing business. Uh, no ceremonies currently today. I thought the um, questions were going to go on for longer. So we will dispense with the ceremonies. Oh, tributes. Anybody want to donate some money for the constabulary? That's where it goes. And also, um, urban development. Anybody here a fan of urban development? I love here, urban here. development. Here, 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 here fucking I love urban development. Things, you can throw some things at Gilbert if you like. Oh, urban development. <laughs> yes. Point on me. Are you all right, Cynthia? Yes, urban development. <laughs> Three o'clock. Three o'clock. You have to develop the urban. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! That's actually where most of the money I spend now goes, to paying the people who work in the Citadel and for urban development. Oh, so. I love urban development. I love urban development. That's the best. Three o'clock. Mm-hmm. And uh, with this new Royal Constabulary Compensation Act, of course, the cost for uh, running the constabulary is going to go up significantly. So to those of you who uh, who just uh, gave some of your very hard-earned silver, thank you very much. We will put it to good use. Won't we, Halcyon? Halcyon? No? We're not going to put it to good use? Are you all yes, right? Your Majesty. Okay, I'm sorry. great. Who <laughs> got right that. there for a second? <laughs> I had a back. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's quite all right. You're doing a great job. Okay, good. Thank you very much on that. Are there any petitions? Anybody need something? Just like a like a yes or no? Oh goodness. Okay. Um, let's start with uh, my friend there, the uh, one who can turn in and out of being a spider. Yes, the fantastical surveyor. May yes, I approach? The I'm going. To yes, okay, all right. I'm okay. going to get this close. Okay. <laughs> of course, I have noticed in my time here the ambition and the growth of the people of these lands. And whilst I am no archfey, I cannot make tacks or warlocks like the Lord of Rot or the Lord of Flickering Lights. But. I do make promises, and I stay true to my word as to doing good on my promises. As such, I am going to petition you now, King Mountbatten, to accept Niles Grantham into the Mountbatten name. Niles Grantham has expressed a great deal of interest in rising into power. To never be stagnant, and to never want for anything more. A life under the court of Mount Batten would certainly suit him very well. Is that all, Fantastical Surveyor? Of course. This is what Niles Grantham has expressed to me, and thus I am making good upon my word. All right, Mr. Niles Grantham, please. Front and center, why don't you? Please, Mr. Grantham, explain to all of these people and myself here today what the fuck is going on. Yes, I had a conversation with a fantastical surveyor the other day regarding my ambition, regarding how much I wish to grow within uh, the areas that I live in and the areas that I be in. And it seems that in that moment, um, knowing what you do and what you control uh, over here, they came to the assumption. And while I am honored that they came to the assumption, I'm very confused. Um, came to the consumption that apparently me joining the Mount Battens is the best move. Do you think it's the best move, Niles? 
I can't disagree and say that it's not, but it's a shocking and scary move, actually. Well, unfortunately, do you, do you, is that something, Grantham, does this fantastical surveyor speak for you? Not in this instance, no. Oh, no, I do. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> I most certainly do. <laughs> what is it? Niles, Allen, Frederick, Percival, Bonnie, Joan, Love, Grantham. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Wow. I do. Oh, my God. Wow, that's a long Wait, can you drop that name one more time, please? Can we hear that one? Most certainly. It is Niles Allen, Frederick Percival von Huron, Le Grantham. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I have, if you would like, Your Majesty, I have an entire book of his goals and his wishes. Oh, that just sounds very excellent. Why don't you give that to Gilbert, and Gilbert will give it to me? Oh, certainly. Of course, I would like to ask. May I have a copy? Oh, yeah, well, you want one of these, uh, you want something to make, make a copy with? Yes, certainly. Yeah, yeah. And thank you very much, Your Majesty. Of course. You always have to be prepared for these things. You never know when you're going to have the opportunity to get somebody's list of wishes and ambitions. You never know. There you are. Right, Gilbert, pass that up. What do we got? What's the damage? <laughs> okay, Grantham. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. All right. You know what, Grantham? Um. I think you and the fantastical surveyor have some things to work out between the two of you. And I wish you the best of luck mm-hmm. in sorting those things out mm-hmm. um, with your goals and wishes. Um, maybe you can ask Santa when Santa comes in December. <laughs> <laughs> and Santa will do like they did last year. They will sit you down. They will look into your eyes. And they will find the truth of what you truly want. Not what you tell people. Not what you tell people you desire, what you want, but what you need. Because the mind can lie, Mr. Grantham, but your mm-hmm. heart will speak only the truth. Quiet. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for playing. Have a seat. And thank you, Fantastical Surveyor, for bringing that to our attention. Oh, you're most certainly welcome. (laughs) People should laugh. (laughs) (laughs) Perfection. Thank you. I'm glad we brought the drum set in today. Anyone else? Petitions, please. Yes, Calliope. Can I get a handshake? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a weird thing to ask for. I don't get them very often. People don't talk to me without yeah, a fear in their it's because, eyes. It's because, it's because you're fucking crazy. Thank you. You're here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're nuts. Anyway. Yeah, don't, thank you. Don't, don't change. Don't change. I, I won't. Uh, yes, Petitions the Under Queen. Okay, no, no, no. I also have a handshake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those moments. Uh, you know, are you familiar with the the the, the novel, um, mm-hmm. George Bush? Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Under Queen. We got him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Yes, Laz? Um, can I um, change the name of my job here? I have an idea. Okay, well, let's hear it. Um, <clears throat> the Keeper of the Crypt to the Prismarine Citadel. Okay. Yeah. Done. <laughs> here, here. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, Shasta? Hey. Hello. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. Hey.
Okay. Um, I uh, would like to petition for a sash. Sash. Um, I am, I think, a recognized knight still, right? I mean, well, I don't actually know, because those oaths and the the knighthood are taken until <laughs> death, and then you died. I don't. This is now. This doesn't happen very much. You understand. The oaths are taken until you die, and then you did, and now you're back. I'll have to put some thought into this. I'll have to sit here and reflect for some time about whether that's how that works. And, um, mm -hmm. sorry to bother you for more time, but, um, the, um, award for Defender of Orlon? Oh, yes. Well, come by later. I think I have that probably upstairs somewhere. I have them down in the treasury. Thank, thank you. Halcyon, could you get one? A uh, Dio for Shasta? After this, after this. After, after. Great. Anyone else? Standard recognized? Uh, Spectre Maldor? I realized it's a little late. I, I didn't follow the, duch the Duchess and the Underqueen in this. Uh, may I also have a handshake, Your Majesty? <laughs> yes, but yours is going to be ominous. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Now uh, yours is going to be quite ominous. <laughs> Good work. I feel a great urge to march now. Carry on. <laughs> Alright, anyone else? Yes, who's that at the back there? Jumping. Uh, All the way at the back. Like, up against the back wall. Yes, very well. Cavs Light, come forward. What's your petition? You can come a little bit more forward than that, too. It's all right. Nobody here bites except, um, Laz, sometimes. And Calliope. And Calliope. A lot of the time. And all also the time. Cynthia. Many people bite. Do you I bite as well, Fantastical that. Surveyor? Maybe? Only Moss, <laughs> if you know you know. What, what, did you, did you have your, did you have a petition? Do you have something to ask? Oh. Hmm. Uh. It's okay, take your time. Yes, certainly. Quite all right. Oh, never mind. That's all right. There'll always be more opportunities. Is there recognize further? Yes, the dear, please. Oh, uh, this is not. Uh, this is not much of a petition, but a, a sort of statement. Uh, Wikis is accepting donations for <gasps> Sir Goldbeak's dead husband right after Council of the Bay. If, if you find the kindness, the kindness what? within your heart. Please donate to Wikis today. I did. I did okay. hear from someone that Cynthia had a dead husband. Maybe sit down. Sit down. Oh yeah. I did hear. He died. I did he hear died about at the that. shrimp war. I heard about it. What the fuck? Yeah. What happened to Khrushchev? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. I have Why one rule. I have one rule about crying. If you're going to cry, you have to be quiet. <laughs> because because I don't want to hear the crying. And neither does anyone else. <laughs> you can hear your arm, please. Ah. Khrushchev isn't dead! I miss her husband every day. I take donations! <laughs> so confusing. Cynthia, Cynthia, front and center at once. Yeah. Oh, Mary Ola. I take donations, yes. Cynthia... You've caused quite the stir here with this. Uh, You're going to have to explain yourself. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, this plays in my head every time I wake up. Good morning, me everyone. Too. Good Am morning. Myself? Good morning. You have to explain yourself I to everyone. Sleep. Hello, Gilbert. Uh, 
<laughs> My husband is not dead, but I Whoa! take donations still. <gasps> just in case. Wait, what did it's you just drama. say? Le gasp. What part? <laughs> what did you say about it? My husband is not dead, but I'll take donations still. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. Maybe maybe I'm not well. I, on, I'm go, so outside, go outside the throne room for a moment. Yeah, okay, hang on. <clears throat> you, you didn't, it's because you're not in the right headspace here. Let's talk oh. about it. Oh, Everyone, you're so we're, right. We're going yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Wait, oh. okay. Cynthia is... <clears throat> <clears throat> Just give it a second. Cynthia needs to get in the right headspace, everyone. Okay. No, that makes sense. Yeah. No. Yeah, I. I got this. Oh, no, man. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, I guess, here it is! Cynthia Dolphy! Why don't, okay, are you all right now? Yes, yes. I okay. apologize. It's clear All right. Khrushchev isn't dead, but you're no. still taking donations. Yes. Okay. My, so no, you should go fast. back over there to Fafnir and, and deal with that. This is, this is oh, your fault. Oh, that's so strange. I had a petition. I'll uh, take it back now. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. All right. Are there any further petitions they recognize? Uh, yes. Um... Uh, I think I know you. You run the news shop, I think. Yes. You live in the Malahide. I get lots of letters from you. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, can I donate uh, to Cynthia's dead husband, or soon-to-be dead husband? You can do whatever you like with your money. Yeah. Oh. oh, my husband. He's alive. Well, thank you. We're neighbors. <laughs> oh. Standing are you guys. Further petitions. Yes, yes, from the gosh dangs there. Um, yes, um, so everyone, like, like, you know, did a handshake. I just thought, would you be open to having a fist bump with me? Yeah, we can do a fist bump. Yeah, we can do a fist bump. Let me do a fist bump right here. There you go. All right. Yeah, see you in Seralia. Further, <laughs> <laughs> standing recognized. You're quite, quite all right, Clive. You seem to like that one quite a lot, the fist bump. <laughs> uh, I was... I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're here. <laughs> You're further, here. Further petitions, stand recognized. <laughs> yes, Travis. Oh yeah. Uh, could you send me to the boat? The boat. Yeah, you know, just the quick way. Oh no! Because you... if I do that here, you're never coming back. Oh. That's tough. Okay. Yeah. Thanks anyway. Mhm. Mm yeah. I don't think that's your intention with it. No, 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 it's not the grace. <laughs> Very well, further and finally, closing statements. Anyone want to announce something, advertise something that they're doing? Um, anyone? Anyone? Is there anyone at all? Oh, I think the Chamberlain. The Chamberlain wants to say something. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, yes. Um, so, so, uh, this October, um, on the 28th, uh, the Crown's going to be, um, sponsoring a, um, a Halloween ball of sorts. Um, we don't want to host it here at the Citadel, um, because the Stone Bay Day Ball was just hosted at the Citadel. Um, so we are going to open it up to anybody that would like to try. Um, all you have to do is, is write into the mailbox, um, and so far we have... Uh, two candidates, but that doesn't mean that either of them will get chosen if, you know, other people 
submit things. Um, but um, again, anybody can um, attempt to <laughs> anybody can attempt to um, host the ball. I, I suppose um, we'll stop by um, the estates that you have listed. You know, see if it's suitable or not. Perhaps we'll talk to you. Um, but perhaps we'll others, talk to you. What? what? <laughs> I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps. What if we show up and it's just like a, a tiny little, like. Well, we. That doesn't mean we can't them. talk to them. <laughs> sure, we can still have a conversation. <laughs> we'll talk to you regardless. I'm glad. <laughs> Anything else with it, Melina? Um. Uh. Yes, um, if you do get chosen to, to, to host the ball as well, um, you will be doing a majority of the planning, but, um, the Crown's assets and myself will be there directly to assist you. Um, so. No worries about that. And, uh, the food and drink expenses will be paid for. Um, within reason, of course. Don't spend the fuck on, please. That's it. Yes. Yeah, I'm yes, done. you basically get all of the help from us, but it gets to be your venue, and it's, uh, you know, it, it, changing the location of these things, I think, is valuable every so often. Good. So, yes, leave a letter if you're interested in hosting the Halloween ball, and you can read more on the board. Oh, we have an advertisement there for it. Very well. Further closing statements are recognized. Hazel. Uh, the day before the ball that was just talked about is the Harvest Festival that I am hosting over at Norbrook. I am still selling some stalls. If people are interested, just send a letter over towards Norbrook. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Harvest Festival is going to be a lot of fun. So if you have a business, especially if you're a new business trying to move into Stone Bay, uh, especially there on Wall Street or on the new Stone Street uh, expansion, uh, I would uh, recommend you getting in touch with Hazel uh, so that you can have uh, your business represented there. Very good. Anyone else? The Under Queen. Uh, yes, thank you. I don't know quite the date or the time yet, but next week uh, we'll be hosting another Realms Council. I know some people find it interesting to come sit in, so I thought I would let you guys know. I will put it out on the board when I get a more proper time set, though. Thank you very much. Mm. Further, standard recognized, the treasurer. Um, if you write a letter to the treasury, please write uh, your letter with an address. Even coordinates work, but if you do not write any kind of return, I will not write back because I cannot write back. Um, so please write your address or coordinates, something, so that I know because I cannot find you just based off of your name. Thank you. Thank you. Annie, oh, yes, the Chamberlain again. That. Please put addresses with your letters. Um, I've had to to send Callan off without any um actual navigation to where you live, um, to deliver letters back. Please just put it put a put a way to get a letter back to you. It makes it so much easier for everybody, and I promise it's not that hard. Common courtesy to leave a return address on a letter you want to reply to, Ooh. especially if you actually do want to reply. They recognize further. Yeah, Zamora? Uh, I'd like to announce uh, adding another event to our wonderful event weekend. Uh, October 20th, Stewart's Cross will be hosting a pumpkin carving contest. Also opening up the Burrow Tavern for the first time. Uh, any further questions, please come see me. Thank you. Anything further? Closing statements and announcements and advertisements and such and so forth. Once, twice, and check the periphery thrice. Thank you very much. Uh, with that, uh, we will, um, like I said before, if you wanted a shop, uh, if you're sort of uh, waiting to hear back from us or you're interested in a shop, stick around. If, uh, if, you are, uh, if you've accepted a nomination for Lord Mayor, also stick around. And uh, my friends in, from the field and from Stewart's Cross expect to hear from me soon. So, um, be kind, be honest. Whenever we have one of these next, meeting adjourned. You're welcome. Oh, good. Yay. Good morning. Thank Glad you, fantastical Savannah.
You're most certainly welcome. Enjoy uh, your talk! Under, under Queen, uh, you free to talk? Are you, are you or... I actually have something, like, real, real quick that I have to do, but then afterwards I should be in, in my home or in the keep. Alright. Under Queen. Um... Yes, we ended up uh, saying so goes, my friends. You don't have to go home, but you certainly can't stay here. Thank you, everybody, and good night. Um, it, it went by faster than I thought, um, all of my questions were answered, but on, on the trip home, uh, I, I got a little sick, and so all my notes are a bit, um, oh, I see. messed around, it'll take me a few days to get them put together, I but. I understand. Well, I hope it went well regardless, and I'm glad to, to hear about it, so yes, good. We, um, we have work to do. Your shop is already, you're already on the list. You don't have to, um, yeah. Gilbert, it's that bloody list of, uh, nominees, please. Can you read it? Yes. We have Dame Bridget Maldor, Princess Consort Hazel Umber, Dame Sapphire Harvest, Governor Niles Grandson, and Lady Elms Dunlaw. Great. All right. Let's go, everyone, who I asked to see. Come along. We're going on a walk. I'm about to hit two birds here with one stone. Oh, we're not Another going. time? No, probably both at the exact same time. All right, cool. Okay. Oh, okay. The job of Lord Mayor of the City of Stone Bay is... Um, as I foresee it, probably actually not that fun. And also, a hell of a lot of work. It's a majority of what I've been doing for the past week. Much of it is maintaining the city, ensuring the rents are collected. It's going to be uh, making sure that the shops, when somebody gets evicted or they leave, or their business shuts down, the shop needs to be set up, the property needs to be uh, restored, and it needs to be put back out on the market. You deal with all the correspondence, you work out all of the lease contracts, you do a bunch of horribly boring work. So, what I'm trying to do very directly is, if you are in this for the title, whatever and whoever you may be back there, uh, you are going to be gravely, gravely in over your head. So, just a consideration, there's absolutely no shame in realizing that you actually don't want the job. And if that becomes the case, you can come and speak to me or leave a letter with the Chamberlain afterwards. Very well. Let's go over to, um, Wall Street. Uh, can I, give me a jump to the people who wanted, um, to the property. It's really scary. Okay. Excellent. Let's go. You wrote us. Uh, my, my, myself and Sir Ice and the guy on boys are coming over here. We are going to take we are going to take a little bit of a, a mind's eye photo so that we can uh, commemorate our our one year of being the boys, Majesty. Are you having like a party? Oh, uh, oh, 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 I love getting to meet royalty. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, and who's in charge of this band of merry journalists? Oh no, that's Gershwin. Gershwin's in charge of us. He is, he is, he is, he is our leader, our fearless leader. Mm hmm mm hmm Wow, fearless. <laughs> Why do you have this problem? Oh, goodness, I feel like I'm being sniffed. Um. Oh, nonsense, dear. We're just helping you the best we can. Mm hmm Anyways, are you, are you guys, like, if you're having a parade? You going to the bar or something? I'm gonna to go eat maybe. hot dogs. <laughs> Please do not talk about the hot dogs. I want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> Yo, I love hot dogs. Wait a minute, that's the bear. Why are you like this? Because I was made like this. <laughs> <You're> so bizarre. <laughs> Gershwin, mean, I, I trust I trust that everything is fine because I hear you room with Hickson and Hickson is rather responsible, so I'm sure this is all oh, Hickson that I've been with. Um Yes, I do room with him, um, and this is actually precisely the reason why we don't venture out much. Yes. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, goodness gracious. And who, who, who are you? Why, are you crying? Okay. Oh, God, don't, don't look at them. They're gonna cry again. It's okay, dear. You look like the 4th of July. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scary! Look at him! It's okay, dear. I'll protect you. I... Mm. You're... You're going to protect them from me? Oh, no! That was I think Gershwin's weird. actually going to protect <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are more than more than welcome to stay here, or you can come with us. We're doing commercial we're doing uh, commercial property inspections and uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, this could be fascinating. All right. Take, take, take notes, take notes. Oh, oh, Rodas, something caught in your throat, Rodas. Maybe you should. Right. I think so. Is that? Let me do this. Do you want me to hit you on the back? Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Mm. Uh. Uh, something was caught in my throat again. I am, uh, I am, uh, I am quite all right now. Oh, Allow that's me to great. catch up for the rest of everyone else. Okay. <laughs> well, right, where are we converging, Your Majesty? Are we converging at Wall Street? Yes, I love yes. Wall Street. Bay and Wall Street. Elias, <laughs> let's start with you. Which property would you like? Um, Were you interested yes, in? Yes, sir. I was interested in. I have to check my five. Or got it. That's all right. Uh, this one right here, fifty. Oh no, that's thirty-nine. Fifty-nine is across the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Numbers. I was interested in this one. Fifty-nine. I did um, have a question. This could be yes, a question. hard one. Um, oh, right next to the so right, Write be, this down. Write this down, everyone. I wouldn't be living here because my primary residence is at Wild Ridge. Mm -hmm. And I was curious if I could get the breakdown on the 16 silver, because I know that's if you live there, to the uh, 64 um, silver per week like breakdown. Like what's? Oh, it's 32. So this one, I think, base is 32, because this is a medium-sized unit. So this is a mm -hmm. 32, and then if you don't live there, it's 64, because we want to incentivize people to move. But that doesn't mean mm -hmm. you can't get a property. That just means it costs more. Um, mm -hmm. And that's sort of the reason why. So you could do this one for 64 a week and not live here perfectly fine. If that's something you're interested in, I can get you signed up right now. Yes, I was going to ask, if I hired a live-in guard, would that also count? Because I had... If they filled out the census... And they, they didn't have any other residences, and they lived exclusively mm. here, and they lived here um, on their own free will, then yes, that would count. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not, I would never force it. Yeah. I just have to clarify, you'll never believe the uh, freaks who live around here. What? Oh, oh God. God, that's a freak. Oh, right. goodness, we don't want to deal with the freaks. We, should, we ought to make a bill about and, them and, freaks. And the, and the freaks, you know, the worst part, Jennifer. They hate oh. hot dogs. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, it's okay, Jennifer. Oh. Oh. It's, it's, it's quite all right, Jennifer. Who wants it? 
Well, I, I didn't have anybody directly in mind, although Lucy and kindly offered, because I didn't know if that was allowed. I didn't want to break any law by having a living guard. Mm-hmm. Um, as opposed to having a living guard. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. I can I can write you in for it. I can write you in for it now at okay. the reduced price, and then I'll have somebody come by and just check in on it later. Yes, sir. I'll be po- I'll be posting something on the board to get a living guard for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the base price would be the thirty two instead yep. of the thirty two. You're all signed up. Fifty nine Wall Street. It's yours. Wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Who's oh, next? Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. Yay. Which one? Uh, wait. This bad okay. boy. This one here. Number eighty. Number eighty. Planning on uh, moving here? Nope. Okay, uh, number 80 is available. It's 32 silver a week if you're not moving here. It's a small unit. Yeah, I could do that. Done. Signed up. Just, uh, there you go. Just Done. Press, baby. Congratulations. Anyone else? Uh, yeah. Hop- yeah, where are you? I'm hopping right here. Right you. Oh, great. Right, which one? Uh, I don't really know which ones were uh, are left available. Just pick one and I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, or I can okay. find you a unit of uh, same size. Uh, I don't really mind where uh, it is. I just need a place. I can make anything work. Okay. Uh, if you wanted a small place, this one here is pretty small, 75. It's about the same size as 80. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with this. And are you moving from your current place to where to where this is? Yes, someone else would like the spot I was in, uh, uh-huh. so we've agreed to uh, have me move somewhere over here, and they take my place. Okay, so I'll, I'll remove you off of 76 Stone Street. Your new address is 75 Wall Street. Your rent doesn't change. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It will take me a few days to move over, though, so. That's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Congratulations. Anyone else? Great. Okay, Lord Mayor candidates, that's the job. That's 80% of the job. Anyone else, anyone still interested? Anybody want to drop out? Yeah, yeah. Can I want to drop out? No, no, I don't. (laughs) Okay. Just here here for this being the job. This is the job. Most of the time it's far more painful because you have to exchange correspondence with people usually over the course of a week. And um, it's just uh, it's just really quite something. Yeah, no, that's about right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, if, if all of the mayoral candidates think that that's a great thing they want to do for three months... Uzzah. Great. Great. And we're going to get the, the election started tomorrow. Uh, mayoral candidates, are there any questions for me about what else your job entails? It's all on the bill, very clear. The, the, uh, this was something I was curious about, and I definitely should have asked before accepting, but does this have anything to do with um, keeping you from possibly being an MP? What? Oh, yeah, you can't... I'm not... No, no Lord Mayor and MP both. No, no. Understood. Understood. Yeah. 